This board here is Contra. I bought this from a Facebook auction. Said it was working. Board looks pretty good. I gave it a quick washing with some the works toilet bowl cleaner. So it's gonna hang out here for a couple days and dry. <clears throat> And I'm going to uh, build a new cabinet for this game board here. I'm here in my vehicle. I'm kind of blocked in by wood. I had Lowe's rip some of these boards down into manageable pieces for me. So hopefully we can get on with this project. So here's a Contra cabinet. As you can see, like, it just really ain't no saving this. So, I plan on building a new one. So basically what I'm going to do here is, this is the best side, uh, it's got the best edge for a profile anyways. So I'm going to basically lay one of these sheets on uh, this cabinet, square up the bottom and the back, and then I'm going to use a cutoff bit on a router to trace this top and front profile. I'll probably use the uh, the sheet that I cut out to make the second profile with so the second profile matches whatever I come up with on the first one. Okay, I have um, the back straight from the bottom here to the top and to the furthest point on the bottom of the cabinet. Uh, not quite sure what it's supposed to look like because it's so swollen and everything, so just going with what I think I can do. Okay, right here if this edge gets real spongy, so I'm going to come down to about here and I'm going to veer off and then I'm going to come back into it where I can kind of keep an eye on everything and then I may try to pull it straight with my hand the last half inch or so.
Yeah, this is what I was talking about right here. Somewhat followed it. But uh, I'll just doctor that up and cut the other one exactly the same as this new piece. It's just the way it's going to be, I guess. So I don't have a belt sander, so I'm just going to use this orbital sander. I'm going to try to keep it as flat as I can and just... Uh, just smooth this corner out. I think I'm going to leave the back square. I think it's supposed to be square. And I don't know for 100% fact, but I think there was a small rounded corner in the front. But I don't know. But there's going to be on this Contra, so. Here we go. try to keep it even as uh, T-molding will go on here and just a little bit more right there. I think that's perfect. I'll use something less aggressive on uh, the rest of this pattern. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow all the dust off here. I'm going to lay my other sheet on, get it straight across the bottom and the back, clamp it down, and then I'll be using this as my pattern. This looks Let's see how that works. You can see, I don't have this first piece I cut on the pattern of the cabinet anymore. I'm just kind of using it as a bench. So I'm just going, I got it nice and square on the back, nice and square on the bottom. I can't feel one piece or the other. I got it clamped down, so I'm just going to make an exact replica of that first one I made. I'm going to kind of start in till I hit and then I'm going to run out that way and then I'll continue on the way I should be going.
We have two pretty perfect matching sides. Back corner still square. Now see, I still have this little pecker here because I didn't want to. So I think I'm just going to uh, sand that off. I just got this little palm sander here. I don't have any pad sports. I'm just using this 120 grit. I'm just gonna basically go flat around this edge like this. This ain't really aggressive. I just wanna. I don't want to rock back and forth on the edge. the edges um, I don't know if you can see it or if it comes out but I I did slightly round this corner and I also did slightly round this corner in the back I think this cabinet did not have T molding on the back or the bottom that I can tell it did in the front though. Here's the there's the uh, T molding groove. I don't see one here. But anyways, um, rounded the corner slightly because I'm gonna I'll basically start here at the bottom of the cabinet, work my way around and come back around, patch it together here. Uh, ordered new leg levelers. So that will go into the bottom. Um, I don't know if this cabinet really generates that much heat. So I don't know if I'm going to put that air hole in there. Maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so basically now I'm going to get the dust cleaned up off this wood. And maybe start contemplating exactly how I'm going to assemble this. I'll have to measure the parts that are on this cabin cabinet, but I also will need to be aware of where it's going at on these new sides. So, um, you know, if there's a 16th inch difference or 3 16th from all these panels from top to bottom you know I can add a little bit here and there where I need to be so it okay so I lined both uh, all three pieces back up together and I did drill the monitor bezel holes through both um because that's important. I just used mounting holes off that piece, drilled straight up through it. I got my table saw here. And I got this other scrap saw that don't run anymore. So these three holes here line up with these three holes over here. So I'm going to take his table off and I'm going to extend, oh, and my fence fits on there and clamps down too, so I'm going to extend my table out another, what is this, two feet or so, so I can uh, 
use my table saw instead of my uh, circular saw to make cut some braces and got my extra piece on the table saw it's not quite level but it worked uh, inch and a half lip from the outside of the cabinet to the inside wall or the outside wall of that wood so that's what I did here then I took a piece of three quarters scrap there and just lined it on that line and uh, drew a mark and then used my drywall T-square to square off the bottom and, and draw the line there and that's where I'll like take my piece of bracing <clears throat> sorry I'll take my piece of bracing I'll basically put it on that line glue it and staple it so I have the bottom section figured out here in the back the bottom and the front panel so I'm basically gonna glue these wood on here staple them on there there in the back here and then um, I will flip the other side the other way to match and I will do the same thing on that got the uh, one side the bottom framed in I guess if that's what you would call it the bottom anyways and um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down and staple them that's Does gluing one and smearing it where you're going to place it and smearing it, does that work better than this? I mean, it kind of seeps out both edges, so I just kind of assume that it's... So I'm not just going to place this on this line. bottom will go up against this in between the front and the back it does come down to the bottom of the cabinet so those pieces will come down the floor will sit in between all of this also this front and the back piece I'm also going to run rails on there too for the uh, floor I've got the back piece, the bottom back piece glued on. I'm off a little bit. It's not horrible. I'm not a carpenter, but I'm learning. Um, what I, I got the front piece cut out too. It's 31 
I don't know, 30 and 3 quarters inch long. Right there in this corner, this piece of wood comes up and this one sits on top of it. So uh, I believe it was 30 and 3 quarters from there to there. So, whoa, that ain't good. So what I'm going to do is, fuck, oh, it's still going. Um, I'm going to climb in here and through the back. I'm going to pull this coin door out. Then, if I did all my measuring right, I should be able to slide the front door in and butt it up against there. And uh, find a way to secure it. And then I'm going to have to drill a hole so I can get my router bit through there. And then I'm just going to route out the coin door. And then I'll come over, line it up on here, glue it, clamp it, and staple it. And that'll give me the back and the front coin door. And I got the holes for the monitor that I'm actually going to use out of the old, old uh, cabinet. I'll bolt it in here. And then I'll be able to take this piece, flip it over align it with the monitor and with everything down there and glue and staple that. That's sort of my plan for right now, whether it's going to work. Guess we're going to find out. So my coin door front, if you can see, it's dead even with that bottom and square along the top. And as far as I can tell, the sides and I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I can live with that, I think. So I'm going to take my drill, I'm going to drill a hole, hopefully where the coin door is. I'd imagine it should be somewhere in here. Alright. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit nervous to do this because I really think I should have someone helping me hold this. Excuse me. So, probably going to stop and start many times. Off the bearings chewing through. Oh no, look at that. Son of a bitch. Well, it looks like my bearing came off. Uh, I think the molding should still uh, keep that. All right. I'll put my inside bit on and go in the inside and finish this. Okay, have the front coin door on, flush to the bottom like it is on the other cabinet. Shit. 
you know, I really didn't want to take anything off this cabinet, but I think I'm going to have to take the speaker cover off, pull the speakers off of it, and use that as a pattern with my uh, router to uh, cut them speak. I'm going to try to cut them speaker slots. It's kind of going to be difficult because I'm going to have to plunge through wood, so... I'm hoping that I can do it without destroying the pattern. I don't know how it's going to work out, so basically I'm going to take that and try to clamp it to a piece of wood and then cut them slots. You can't even see them. The speaker slots. And if I can get it to work, I'll come back on and make the last few cuts with okay first cut I made this board moved I didn't put a clamp on this side because I thought that the um, router would need all this area which it don't so I'll use two clamps on the side I'm not working on one clamp on the side I'm working on that seems like it held it sufficient so this first middle line middle grate is uh, the first cut I made so we're gonna take it apart together it did move while I was cutting so the middle one is messed up but the other four it didn't move so we'll see how it looks I took my drill and kinda just drilled a hole down in there so I can get my bit down in and then fired it up cut the groove lots of sawdust everywhere yeah that middle one's messed up I kind of long are see how it you see that no you can't huh <laughs> help if you did huh there we go so this was the first one I cut and for some reason this one's moved looks moved too hmm since uh, I might as well just put four clamps on it on, a, on all the corners and not have to worry about it Cause this is moving my machines down in here drilling holes down through here first so the bit will come down Thank you. 
have to have this side facing out because when I drilled through, I drilled through and it probably splintered the wood. Sorry I didn't put a lot of assembling on camera, but, well, I was just kind of busy. So now I'm going to cut a T-mold and groove here. See, my slot ain't in the fucking middle anymore. Anyways, I guess I will be packing this full of Bondo and uh, re grooving that. Still have. Uh, Small section to come out this way, small section to go up this way. Of course, the control panel. Uh, there's some slots of wood that goes in here for the glass to lay on. I still have the top to make and the back to make, and some bracing still left to do. So, so I filled in this groove. I'm hoping I got it back in there deep enough. You know, not just created a bunch of air pockets, so. We'll see. Probably tomorrow when I come out here, I'll recut this groove. I'll just start up here and come around. Hopefully, I can get through it without destroying the Bondo in there. And I lied. I ain't waiting until tomorrow. I'm hoping that'll work. Somebody just yell at me for cross cutting on a table saw. But.
cut the the bottom section and the top section to replace in that cabinet. Of course, I try, I'm trying to keep as many parts as I can for patterns because I actually might like to make another one of these contra cabinets for uh, I don't know, 60 in one vertical board or something. I've bonded up my recess recessed uh, holes that I put some screws in to really make this top anchored. Uh, I put a little bit more up here in this crevice just to try to get it packed in there as good as I can. I think it was okay but I just put it in there anyways. I'll just cut it out with the router again. Okay um, got a little bit more aggressive paper here. I know, it doesn't fit on here, but it works. here that the glass sits on you slide the glass up in and down on a little I don't know ledge I guess you would call it so measurement off the old cabinet is uh, this far in from the edge here so 
few measurements here. It's the same all on this flat spot. So what I can do is bring this in here, line up my marks. That's giving me the angle 